Hey there, it's Lucy Johnson here from FullyBookedFormula.com where we work with fitness, health and wellness professionals that want to get more clients and make more money. And today, uh, in this video, I'm going to answer the holy grail question, which I get asked every once in a while, which is, Lucy, where can I find all the rich people that will pay the high-end prices that I want to charge? You know, where do I have to be based and kind of what kind of things do I have to do to be able to get the rich people, the high-end people in paying high-end prices? And uh, I, I totally understand the question because a lot of the time people are frustrated with this idea that, um, you know, they're in an area or doing a, a kind of profession where people just don't have the money or they aren't willing to pay the money and they want to go what they call quote-unquote high-end. And I get it. But here's what I would say. I would say number one, if you are no good at marketing and no good at closing the sale because you're not following set systems, we have systems for everything, like procedures, systems, lists, do this, do that, do that, and you have to follow systems. If you don't have them for marketing and closing the sale, it really doesn't matter. You could be in the middle of Mayfair um, with people that earn hundreds of thousands of pounds a year and they need your help, but if you're not good at marketing, you're not good at closing the sale, you're still not going to get them as a client anyway. So it's not, it's not really to do with the end user, as in how much money do they have, it's more to do with how well are you communicating the value that you offer with your services and products, and therefore how willing is the, the end user to part with X amount of money. Now, of course, people can't pay you money they don't have, I get that, but unless you want to charge a million quid, for a personal training session, which you might want to do, but unless you want to do that, it's actually not normally that the, the, the client, the end user is the problem. Normally you're the problem, i.e. you aren't explaining the value properly. You're all focused on telling people that you're a chiropractor, I'm a chiropractor, or um, I give people Botox or whatever, as opposed to telling them in your marketing how they're going to feel different after working with you or buying your product or how their life is going to change after working with you or buying their product or how they're not going to feel overwhelmed and upset and stressed out anymore after working with you and buying your product. What, what you got to get your head around is people buy and people decide how much they're willing to pay based on how your marketing and selling makes them feel. So if they, if they as a result of your marketing and your sales process feel that their life is going to be significantly less less hard, it's going to be easier, it's going to be less painful, it's going to be less upsetting, they will find the money whether they're classed as a high-end individual or not. They will, all the spare disposable cash or borrowed money or credit card uh, capacity they have at their disposal will, will be put towards working with you or buying your stuff, but only if they really, really, truly get the, the point from an emotional perspective of them buying your chiropractor session or buying the Botox treatment or whatever the thing is uh, that you're selling. So yeah, I mean, I can tell you where to find high-end individuals. You need to go into city centers. Uh, the easiest way to get high-end individuals uh, to get in front of them is through referral. So once you need to figure out where they're hanging out in real life face-to-face, -face, do they go to certain bars, are they members of certain associations to do with their work, their jobs, um, and, and go there and be there and have a presence there. And then once you get one word of mouth and referral programs are always the best for high-end individuals, they just are, particularly if they're high-end individuals that, that are work and are in a working environment with other people rather than running a business. However, none of that's relevant if you can't close the sale anyway. So I guess what I'm saying is ask yourself honestly, why are you asking the question, where can I find high-end individuals that will pay high prices? Because what I would argue is the average Joe will pay the high prices you're looking for if you get better at your marketing and at your closing the sale.